monthly menstrual release. So this video is dedicated to your monthly period, your monthly cycle, your inner winter. This is the time of month when you have your period. And I wanna share with you the true magic behind that and how you can use that energy to assist you in your growth and on your journey. So when we have a physical release every month via our period, which is the shedding of the uterus lining, and you have blood every month, basically, in a nutshell. But there is a much more deeper spiritual, emotional connection to this, which I feel many of us maybe aren't aware of. I myself, until I ventured onto this healing journey, I wasn't aware of that. Um, many years of my life were shut off from even really understanding much about my cycle. You know, many years when I was younger um, on a contraceptive pill, which didn't even allow you to have a proper monthly period or release. So you can imagine then the energetic and emotional build up that was there. So when we have our monthly release, I believe that is the time to look at all areas of your life and assess, especially over the last month what in your life isn't working for you what does actually need to be released maybe emotionally maybe spiritually or maybe even physically and look at that and have that quiet time within because when you have your period it is a time when it is best to have some time alone i'm not saying you have to spend the whole time alone and for many of you that may not even be possible but there is a beauty and a gift with being able to retreat inwards to receive your inner guidance and your inner healing and to be able to listen to your inner self because most of the time in this busy world we're in I feel for many of us we switch off from that intuitive side um, that inner voice that the one that's there to give us the help and guidance and sometimes maybe it's not what we're ready to hear or what we want to hear but there is great power in that guidance that can be received. So it's time to look back. Is there something you're holding on to? Could it be a toxic friendship, toxic relationship? Maybe a work situation that's not working. Maybe even negative thoughts or limiting beliefs about yourself. But they are things that if you harness that energy when you're releasing, you can also release those things with them. And it's like a rebirth because then you, after your, you know, several days of having your bleed, you then step back forth into the world with more energy, more power and a stronger sense of self. And if you've done that release work and set those intentions to release as well energetically, you will feel more empowered and lighter to go forth in the month ahead. Now, there's many ways in such as rituals, as you can see there on the Bleeding Rituals card, that you can really harness and embrace the energy as well. So some simple things you could do is run yourself a lovely warm bath. You could add some bath salts, maybe even a few drops of your favourite essential oil. And just lie there and be still and acknowledge the beauty in yourself the beauty in what's around you and listen to your body and feel what emotions come up to be released and it's okay to cry it's okay to scream to let those out and as you're cleansing over your body with the water just visualize releasing those from your energy field and picture them you know even when you empty the drain and even if you're showering the same that that energy is then passing down the drain into the earth to be neutralized and dispersed of. That's a really powerful release technique. And then even simply, you may wanna write down things that come up, thoughts, feelings, situations, write those down, that's coming up to release. And then you could burn that. You know, you could add in some earth elements, flowers, candles, you may even want to use water, be creative. You know, there's no right or wrong way to do a, a ritual or to harness that energy. As long as you're setting your intention for your highest good and to release what's no longer serving you. Just like many of you may do at a full moon, but when you also have your period, that's a really powerful time to look at what needs to be released. And 
and then look at how you feel as well after your release, after your period. If you've done that inner acceptance and inner healing work and focused on some releasing, how do you feel after that? Do you feel more energised? Do you feel rebirthed, like you're stronger, you can take on the world now? Or situations you may have felt you couldn't before? Because there is a magical voice within all of us, which is like our inner self, our higher self, that will help and guide you. And especially this is stronger when you're bleeding. And this guidance could come in the form of maybe it might be an idea on what to do about a situation. Maybe it could be what needs to be out of your life. Even if we don't maybe want to acknowledge that and our logical brain says, oh, well, how on earth could that work or that won't happen? But don't dismiss that inner voice. And sometimes just having that quiet time alone allows that to come through more strongly. And that can then help you and just write those down. I get it a lot with things to do for work or around my creative content or my books. And I get ideas come to me. I've had the name of healers to reach out to. Um, I've had the name of the book given to me. But if you allow yourself to be still, and allow that inner guidance to come through. It's so magical and powerful. And there is so much beauty within that. And for those of you that maybe struggle as well and have great immense pain or difficulties or health problems, you know, within that womb or sacral chakra and root chakra area relating to your monthly cycle, this again is something to tune into and look at, are you releasing? Has there been things stored, pain, trauma, upset or hurt in that area that maybe hasn't been acknowledged or been allowed to be released? Are we holding on to things? Because when we hold on to things or we do things out of pleasing others and not ourselves, again, that creates a disbalance in our body and our energy and our blood and in our health, which then can, you know, come through in the form of illness or disease or infection. You know, it's to do with that chi and that energy flow within the body. So it's really important to pay attention to that. And if you do tune into your higher self and receive your guidance and look at just even acknowledging what needs to be released every month. I really feel for many of you then that will allow you to have a healthier, less painful monthly period. And you may see as well that health problems in that area begin to heal themselves and become less of a problem because they're always connected in my belief to a deeper emotional imbalance or disruption within the energy field. And it's also a time to celebrate with the red tent energy. And that is where women that come together who are menstruating and that goes back to ancient times um, when women say like in a tribe or a community, if they were having their period, they go to literally a red tent area where they could be safe away from maybe their families or their husbands. And that was their time for them to just relax and to be and to celebrate and harness that energy together with other women. And also with it being your winter cycle. In the, the monthly cycles we talk about, winter represents the release. And also it's the time when you're most spiritually connected to above. Again, to receive your guidance. So if you sit and you meditate or you listen to your intuition, really make notes and follow what comes through for you. And also in your dream state, your dreams will often be more vivid and you may well receive important guidance or premonitions or insights. Again, psychic abilities and spiritual gifts and healing energy is heightened as well at this time. Myself personally, though, when I'm menstruating, I don't do any, generally speaking, there may sometimes be an exception, it depends on how I feel. I don't personally do any healing work or psychic work then. I leave that until afterwards when I feel more strong because I prefer to just embrace that energy and receive my guidance. And also, I will use an example, several, this is a long time ago, and I remember I was due on, and it was like a couple of days, maybe a day or two before, and, you know, an important relationship had ended at the time, and it, and it was very hurtful and upsetting, and I was, like, already premenstrual, and I was, like, really feeling it, you know, completely just upset and emotionally numb, and and I just said to myself, something was like to me, you've just got to surrender to this and let it be because you have to trust what's for your highest good. And again, we can't always control everything in life. 
And when I just surrendered to that feeling of, if this is meant to be, then that's what's meant to be. And I remember walking down the aisle in the shop thinking, okay, um, do you want to let me buy some sanitary pads? Put them in the trolley. By the time I got to the end of the aisle, I felt like a twinge and an ache, almost like I can't fully describe it, but if you know that feeling when you're about to come on and it's just suddenly you get that like, it's like the contraction pain almost, but it wasn't like really unbearable, but it's just like, I know my body, I'm in sync with it. And I was like, oh my gosh, my period's starting in the shop. What is the synchronicity just as I picked up the pads? And then as soon as I got home, yes, it was my period. So I was like, oh my God, I literally smiled and thanked the universe because I just thought to myself, like, that's incredible. The minute I allowed myself to just release and just not force a situation, not try and control it, and if that individual wasn't meant to be in my life, I just had to accept that and honour that. The period came and it was actually a good period that month, you know? Like, yes, it had the, the usual kind of uncomfortable tiredness, a little bit of pain, but it wasn't unbearable. And that is the message. If you're someone that is having terrible, painful, dreaded periods, you can't handle that pain. Or you're having a lot of health problems with that. Sorry, my cat's playing around in the background yeah you're we having so like health problems with that look at the emotional cause or look at what you may be holding on to that maybe you need to release you know maybe there is a family situation a work situation a relationship something you know on a personal intimate emotional level that is affecting you or maybe it's a deep embedded traumas or pain or emotional difficulties that maybe have been stored in your sacral chakra, your root chakra area, maybe they need to be acknowledged and released. And you can do that, you know. Energy healing work can help you also. But just some of the simple rituals and techniques I've mentioned in this video could be so powerful and helpful. And as you start surrendering to that and embracing the gift and seeing it as like, oh my gosh, this is an exciting time to have my period. Look at the magical gift of release and rebirth I get to experience. If we see it more as a blessing and tap into that energy to use for our highest good and change our mental perspective to that, it will honestly have such a knock on effect in the rest and the other areas of your life. So I just really wanted to embrace the power and the gift within that and to not shy away from it and not to feel ashamed and this is your healing journey and this is journey is unique to you so just embrace that in whatever feels comfortable to you and I would love to hear from you as well in the comments if you want to share with others what works for you what doesn't maybe because this is a platform to share and we're all here to help each other to learn and to grow and thank you so much for listening. I pray that this reaches you and helps you. And just remember, your menstruation is magic.